What is Ostrine? Well, my name's AD West and welcome to Supplements in 6 Minutes or Less. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the popular psalm, Ostrine. So, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to Apollo Lifestyle Training Videos. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications icon so you're notified each and every time we upload a new video. Now, YouTube doesn't really like this type of video, so if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that notifications bell because it just gives you a notification every time I upload a video. And if it is something that you fancy watching, then you know I've, I've uploaded it. Whereas with this type of video, YouTube doesn't really like to push it out there too much. So even if you are subscribed, it's not really going to tell you about some of the videos that I upload or the majority of them. So make sure you hit that notification bell. It helps me out, but it also helps you out as well. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the popular bodybuilding psalm, Osterine, in six minutes or less. But before we get into the video, remember, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not advising you take or not take anything that we discuss in these videos. These videos are purely for your entertainment purposes only. And what you choose to do, the knowledge that you've attained by watching these videos is completely up to you and has nothing to do with me. So now we've got that out of the way. Let's get into it. So, Osterine is a psalm. It's also known as MK2866. Now, psalms were developed to treat muscle wastage diseases and bone wastage diseases like osteoporosis. Um, they were designed as a safe alternative to using anabolic steroids way back in the 80s. But obviously, in the world of bodybuilding, it gives people a safer alternative to use instead of anabolic steroids. Now, Osterine is seen as a beginner psalm because you are less likely to get testosterone suppression. And if you do, it should be quite mild. You'll also get a decent amount of gains, but the opportunity to get side effects on Osterine is a lot lower compared to all the other psalms. Even though psalms, you know, you don't really get that much in terms of side effects on psalms anyway. But Osterine is seen as the most mild in terms of side effects, but it's actually decent for building lean muscle. So psalms selectively bind to the androgen receptors in the bones and muscles, whereas like an anabolic steroid just goes in and does all different kinds of things and causes a bit of trouble. A psalm sort of just does one or two jobs. So it binds to the androgen receptors in the bones and muscles, making more anabolic activity. So it means it's going to be quicker and easier for you to build lean muscle, providing you're eating the right amount of food, the right type of food, and you're doing the right type of training to stimulate the muscle growth in the first place. Now, obviously, psalms aren't just for building muscle. They're for helping you to keep hold of muscle. So let's say you're going away for four weeks. You could start taking psalms whilst you're away. For example, if you couldn't train, you're actually going to get less muscle wasting because they're anti-muscle wastage drugs. So therefore, it can also benefit you, you know, if you, you in a situation where you can't train, you're going to lose a lot less muscle mass. They are banned in sports, but they're legal and they won't show up in a drugs test for work. So just bear that in mind. A lot of people do ask, oh, because it, it's banned in sports, does that mean it's banned? I, I can't take it when I get drugs tested at work. When you get drugs tested at work, they're usually doing like a four panel test and they're testing for all the party drugs, really. That's all they're testing for. I've had plenty of drugs testing in my previous career working in the railways and, and they were quite regular. When I first started working there, um, many, many years ago, we all thought creatine would show up in it. Whereas now I've done all the research, I know what they're testing for. They're testing for the stuff that you put up your nose. So you'd be totally fine. They're not going to show up in a drugs test at work. Is Osterine liver toxic? Well, Psalms in general, they're not liver toxic or they are very, very low in liver toxicity. The only time you probably need to worry if, is if you've got issues with your kidneys and liver. But for most people, you don't have to worry about liver toxicity and you don't need to take anything additional with them. Does Osterine convert to estrogen and cause gyno? Well, if it's proper Osterine, like I say, Osterine is very easily faked. You know, a lot of people are selling, you know, cheap anabolic steroids and calling it Osterine. So as long as you're getting proper lab tested Osterine, then you'll be fine. You will get no conversion to estrogen. So that means no gyno. That also means you're not going to hold any water and the gains that you get are going to be lean, dry gains. 
What are the dosages for Austrian? Well, the standard dosages for guys is anything between 20 and 40 milligrams. I would say 20 if you're a beginner and you can increase it if you are a bigger guy or if it's not your first rodeo. Yes, I have heard people getting decent results on 10 milligrams per day of Austrian, but not everyone does. So I would say the standard dose is 20, but if you are a smaller guy, then you'll probably be all right on 10. But that's up to you. The standard recommendation is 20 to 40 milligrams per day. I have seen people take 60 milligrams per day as well, but I don't recommend it. I would go with something else if you're gonna run it that high maybe switch to something like rad 140 that's slightly stronger you would run it every single day for at least eight weeks i wouldn't do four weeks a lot of people say oh i only want to do it for four weeks but you're not going to get the results on four weeks you need to be doing at least eight weeks eight to twelve weeks every single day not just the days that you train you take them every day followed by a pct what is the PCT for Austrian? Well, if you're just doing Austrian on its own, I would say Tamoxifen, Nolvadex is a good PCT. Uh, you would do that at 20 milligrams per day for four weeks. You could take 40 milligrams a day for the first two weeks and then 20 milligrams a day for the next two weeks. And you get these from my sponsors, Swiss Chems. And then the other question I get asked about Austrian is, do I need to run a test base? Well, you don't need to run a test base, but you will get better results if you do so. A testosterone base is usually injectable testosterone, but essentially the reason why people run a testosterone base is because you do get testosterone suppression. You know, it varies from person to person during a SARM cycle, during an anabolic steroid cycle. So therefore people would run a testosterone base. And this is because they suppress something called DHEA, which your body converts into testosterone. So you can actually buy for DHEA um, from Vintage Muscle, uh, one of my sponsors, and you can actually take this every day. Um, if you're doing an eight week cycle, you want two bottles, 12 week cycle, you want three, and you get 28% off your first order from Vintage Muscle. And this is actually replacing that DHEA that you are missing out on whilst you're taking your Austrian cycle or whatever cycle you're on. So whilst that's being suppressed, you're putting it straight back in. So you're going to get better results because like I say, if your testosterone levels are being suppressed on cycle, then that's also suppressing the amount of gains you're going to get. Yes, you are taking Austrian, but your testosterone was up here to begin with. So if you then take that 4-DHEA, which I've got in my hand there, that's going to boost your testosterone levels back up here with your Austrian levels for the whole cycle. So you're going to get fantastic results. So there you go. That's Austrian in six minutes or less. Hopefully I managed to do it in six minutes or less. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notifications icon, and I'll see you next time for another video.